Here's a handy technique to boost the output of old negative ion generators. Now the principle of an ionizer is that when you apply a high negative voltage onto a surface, the area of charge is the greatest at a sharp point. So for instance with a Van de Graaff generator they have big shiny metal domes on top because that they hold the charge over the surface of the dome. But when you've got a sharp point on, the charge which is normally spread over fairly evenly it tends to concentrate at sharp surfaces and it imparts a charge onto the air and then the negatively charged air gets repelled away from the negative needles. And this is why most ionizers do use needles. And needles are pretty good, They're, they feel fairly sharp, but if you use something sharper you can actually get more efficient ionisation. So if you were to look at uh, ne this needle through a microscope, it would look like this. It would uh, tend to taper up and then it'd be quite rounded at the tip. It wouldn't be as sharp as it feels. And if you compare to that a strand of carbon fibre, now this is a bunch of carbon fibre strands and I don't even think they'll be visible on the camera. They're ultra fine hairs and literally next to the needle they'd look like this. And these are highly conductive. It is literally a strand of carbon material. So um, you can buy this stuff on eBay very easily. It's used uh, in fiberglass manufacturing for making uh, actual fiber, uh, carbon fiber panels. And you can buy it as a tape, which they call a unidirectional tape. You get the woven tape where it's actually crisscrossed and it's not so ideal. Or you get the unidirectional tape where it's loads of strands like this held together by a sort of zigzaggy thread that weaves backwards and forwards to hold them in place. And if you buy just, a, you can buy it by the metre or yard, if you just buy one uh, section of that, which doesn't cost that much, and then you pull these threads off, it separates into the strands like this, this, this clusters of the fibres. I think you can also get a string version of it. I've never actually tried this string version, but uh, theoretically it should work quite well. I have seen the string, the woven string used on Boots ionizers and I think maybe on some Mountain Breeze ionizers too. So, to make an uh, alternative retrofit carbon fibre tip for an existing ionizer, you can basically get some of this and get a piece of heat shrink sleeving put a bit of wire through the loop in the end, pass a bunch of that carbon fibre through, pull it through into the heat shrink sleeving till it's just bulging out the end, and then shrink it down. So you end up with basically the heat shrink with just the tips coming out. And I'll show you what's involved in that. Here's a bit of the heat shrink, and here's a bit of wire. So I'll thread the wire through the heat shrink, and I'll just fold it over. Now, the length of the heat shrink, I've cut about half inch uh, heat shrink here, which is about 12.5 millimetres, and you want to put roughly four times the length of that through so that it, uh, because it's going to be doubled up and then you want it to stick out a bit as well. So let's cut off a couple of inches of this, which is about 50 millimetres. Hopefully this will cut quite easily. Yeah, it's not too bad. And we want to just pass that through the loop of the wire here and close the wire on it so it can go through the heat shrink. And then we want to drag that into the heat shrink so that the carbon fiber folds double and the heat shrink goes across it like that. And then once it's out the other side, we'll just uh, open that wire and uh, take it off. Now that's uh, it pulled through, but now I'd, heat, I'd actually shrink it with a heat gun. So I've made one already here that's been shrunk. And after that, because the wires are kind of loosely bonded together, you can then fluff them out a bit. And if you just sort of flick them a wee bit, they'll just generally fluff out into a sort of brush. And then it's as simple as getting your original ionizer with the existing needles, and then the closed end, just shoving it over the end of the needle, so that the needle just partially goes up into the tight bunch of fibres in here and that will convert that needle then into a carbon fibre emitter point that you can easily change. So that does actually seem to increase the output of ionisers quite significantly.